from the early morning shooting involving juveniles picked up by her doorbell camera in April of last year to robberies, car thefts, and carjackings, Sherelle Sellers says she and her neighbors in Bel Air Edison retired. Retired. They met Thursday to develop. Retired. Carjackings. Sherelle Sellers says she and her neighbors in Bel Air Edison retired. Retired. They met Thursday to develop a neighborhood watch group. The message is clear. None of us are going to let you do this around here. It's not going to happen. But even before their meeting, Sellers says she and another neighbor intervened and stopped teenagers stealing from an Amazon Prime delivery truck. We went and talked to them, you know, asked them, what are you doing? You can't do this. It's going to affect the whole street because then Amazon won't deliver here. And their response was, I don't care. She says it's... <laughs> That's funny, man. This is comedy gold, man. We went and talked to them, you know, ex neighbor intervened and stopped teenagers stealing from an Amazon Prime delivery truck. We went and talked to them, you know, ex what are you doing? You can't do this. It's going to affect the whole street because then Amazon won't deliver here. And their response was, I don't care. She says. <laughs> Yeah, man. Put a hijab on that like button, man. <laughs> act like act like it's act like it's a Muslim country and that, that like button forgot to wear his hijab in public. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pretend we in a Muslim country and act like that like button forgot to wear his hijab in public. Come on, man. Even before their meeting, Seller says she and another neighbor intervened and stopped teenagers stealing from an Amazon Prime delivery truck. We went and talked to them, you know, asked them, what are you doing? You can't do this. It's going to affect the whole street because then Amazon won't deliver here. And their response was, I don't care. She says the teens walked away. A short time later, police responded to another incident, a robbery just a few blocks away at Bel Air Road and Brendan Avenue. According to a police report, the suspect approached the victim from behind, wrapped his arms around the victim and caused him to drop his phone. The suspect then picked up the phone and demanded the passcode. The victim initially refused, but the suspect shoved him against a vehicle and said, do you want to die over a passcode? The victim then gave the suspect his passcode. A neighbor intervened and started yelling. The suspect ran away. I have a concern for the neighborhood. I have a concern for the people who live there, but I also have a concern for the kids that are going down this path that at a certain point, there's no turnaround. You should, you should only care about the victims, man. It's enough people caring about them kids, man. Them kids got a lot of people caring about them. You fucking shit stain, you. The suspect ran away. I have a concern for the neighborhood. I have a concern for the people who live there, but I also have a concern for the kids that are going down this path that at a certain point, there's no turnaround. Eric James tells 11 News he was assaulted at his home. And he punched me in the face. <laughs> that was unexpected. Shocking. Shocking turn of events. Eric James tells 11 News he was assaulted at his home. And he punched me in the face. I ended up doing a kind of a backflip over the wall. He had asked the group. <laughs> Yo, he punched this liberal libtard so hard he did a backflip. Damn. This path that there, it's at a certain point, there's no turnaround. Eric James tells 11 News he was assaulted at his home. And he punched me in the face. I ended up doing a kind of a backflip over the wall. He had asked a group of juveniles to quiet collect. down and retreated back into his house as the attack began. <laughs> oh, shit. This gets better and better. He asked a group of juveniles to quiet down. Come on, man. You got to know better than that, man. Come on, bro. You gotta know better than that man this guy must have um he must have missed that episode of Ock nation man i'm sure he catches all the episodes 
but he he just missed it. Maybe he was um out of maybe his internet was down that night, and he missed the show, man. When I was going over this, man, you never do that, man. After I'd shut the door, locked the door, uh, and proceeded to kick the door in, kick through the deadbolt, um, and was reaching inside the door, swinging at me, trying to punch me and punch me. In. <laughs> Yo, that was terrifying. I ain't gonna lie. This is like, think about the movie Scream or any scary movie you ever heard. Think about any scary movie or any horror movie. This is literally every horror movie. This is literally what he just described. What he just described is like every horror movie. Like that scene in a horror movie, you know that scene. At his home. And he punched me in the face. I ended up doing a kind of a backflip over the wall. He had asked a group of juveniles to quiet to down and retreated back into his house as the attack began. After I'd shut the door, locked the door, uh, and proceeded to kick the door in, kick through the deadbolt, um, and was reaching inside the door, swinging at me, trying to punch me and punch me. In. James is helping to set up the Neighborhood Watch. The best way to get things taken care of is to let them know that we're watching. Neighborhood Watch organizers tell us they are working with Eastern District police officers. Reporting from Blair Edison, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11.